I don't want to say that that I'm boring. I mean, I'm, I don't think I'm that boring. You know, I like to go and do <laughs> different things. So my name is Hannah Klein. I'm known as That Babe in Toyland on TikTok and Instagram. So I like to call myself, I guess, a creator um, and a cosplayer. That That is kind of my online presence. I also work in healthcare. I grew up in rural Ohio, so kind of middle of nowhere. Lots of crops, kind of the directions are like turn right at the second cornfield and then a left at the big red barn, you can't miss it type, type town. How I started cosplaying is I set up, um, it, it was mostly for Disney and going to Disney World. And so I bought my first Spider-Man suit and to see kind of how I, how I felt. And I feel like I've always been a bit of a, a bit of a closet nerd. I've really gotten to explore that and share my passion for it and share it more. My, my family is really, I am very grateful. Do they understand the cosplay aspect of it? Maybe not, but they are so supportive. Sometimes I can talk my sisters into doing a TikTok with me. They've, They've appeared on there a couple times. I feel like with cosplay, I have an opportunity to explore different personalities. A lot of the characters too that I embody, and yes, like those cosplayers have different personas, but I feel like there's a little bit of that persona inside of me. With those characters, I feel more comfortable embracing my, my sexuality and um, who I am and exploring kind of like, like the badness, <laughs> the dark side, you know, it's almost like a separate, it's like a separate world for me, to be honest. I remember when I got my second sister, you know, and I'm like, look at this. And I'm like putting the helmet on and I'm walking around the house and my, my leather outfit with my helmet on the dogs are going crazy. Trilla is her name turned second sister. Second sister I have studied inside and out. I love I love Trilla as a character. Um, you know, her backstory is heartbreaking and um, you know, just the revenge and hatred, you know, and it's kind of, you see a little bit of, um, I feel like remorse. Where I relate to her is, you know, there's a lot of stuff in my life that happened that could have, you know, taken me towards a, a dark path. You know, just seeing how, how deep the pain is with her, um, you know, and she, you know, kind of being forced um, to the dark side and being just completely broken down. You know, it's almost like this, I'm sorry that I did this. Um, you know, it's really, truly not who I am. So. I've carried so much hate for you. I actually have a rare disease called heterotaxy syndrome. So I've had four abdominal surgeries. So which has been just kind of a whirlwind originally made me adverse to, you know, being in healthcare at all. Um, you know, this massive scar down the middle of my stomach, you know, and people, oh, what's wrong? Are you okay? And it took me a long time to, to embrace my disease and my scar. You know, I had a lot of parents who found um, me using like the heterotaxy syndrome hashtag. And they're like, oh my gosh, to see somebody, you know, as an adult with this disease, you know, you give me a lot of hope. You no, know, I, I love actually showing off my scar. I like doing the crop top Velma because I like that it shows my scar and that's part of who I am. I was really proud to have, you know, to have something that made me stand out and make me unique. I do think that it played a huge role in, in me needing to be able to connect with people. I typically try to be as, as real as I possibly can, you know, and just in sharing the things that make me happy and surrounding everybody else with those things. Whatever makes you authentically you is okay.